Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another gameplay video. Today we're playing some Hearts of Iron 4 as the Socialist States of Austria-Hungary, or otherwise known as the People's Republic of Austria-Hungary. Now, we left off last episode, we were contemplating whether or not we should attack the Allies, and, um, well, I'm still not entirely sure if that's what we should do. I think we, sh we should first defeat Japan, which the Soviet Union's already, you know, carrying out at that attack. And we should actually go and help them out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take some troops. So let's take uh, these troops right here. Put them in their own army. And then we're going to stick them way over here in, in this port. And then we're going to uh, move the troops, transport them to this province, this province right here. We have no divisions in training right now, which is strange why we're currently up upgrading our weapons, upgrading the fighters. So let's help out the Soviet Union a little bit, see if we can't uh, do something here. Oh, too many. <laughs> Look how many fucking bombers they have. God damn, do they need that many? I don't think they need that many. Was this Republican Spain? Am I a part of the same faction as you? Or are you a part of the Axis? Let me see. Now they're part of the common turn, so I should be able to uh base my airplanes here. What the hell? This is the common turn, right? Yeah, the Republican Spain. That's weird. Okay, never mind. Alright, so no divisions in basic training, I don't care. Available planes and reserves. Cool. Free dockyards, is that useful to us at this point? Can, are we able to make a ship? Not yet. Nope, that's not of use to us. So, right now we're just going to wait until our troops get to this territory here. To Vladivostok, Vlad whatever the fuck. Oh god, fucking pronouncing names, it's not It's not what I do, guys. It's not what I do. Alright, so, um... I'm going to talk about the update real quick. So, Hearts of Iron 4 just updated, and a couple of changes have taken place here. For instance, this right here. If you click on this, you can see there's like these three buttons up here. You can have a care careful execution of battle plans. I'm going to accept the French. They can, they can walk through if they want. Um, now, battle plans have different execution types of the different ways that you can execute them. For instance, carefully, when, when the plan is carried out, units will not attack heavily fortified locations unless they are unmanned and they avoid attacking provinces, which will weaken the front line by making it longer. So they're going to be very cautious at how they attack the enemy. Um, sorry. Uh, you have a balance. The standard rules for carrying out battle plans are in effect. So this is the, how the, the AI, how armies would normally carry out these types of plans. Units will attempt to advance in a manner that keeps the front line as short as possible and may attack fortified locations, or you can do the aggressive battle plans. Units will attack provinces if they are a part of the plan, even if it may mean that the front line becomes longer or may put units in exposed locations. So that, that's best if you're trying to take out somebody really quick and you know that your flanks aren't going to be exploited. You can use the aggressive battle plan. These guys can all pass through. At this point, we're pretty much allies in this war, so I grant them access through my lands. That's fine. I'm kind of the world superpower now. Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at what's going on over here in the Soviet Union. Looks like they're gaining a lot of ground. They're having some trouble here, but they should be able to take care of that. They should attack, like, these guys attack here like that. Come on. What are you, fu what are you fucking doing, dude? Attack the enemy. God damn. What are you guys doing? Look at this. Ugh, this is why. That's why we can't have nice things. Because no one knows how to attack anybody anymore. So the UK took Taiwan over. And the Japanese are nearly defeated here in uh, Indochina. Yeah, you can walk through my lands. I don't care. 
See, man, we're, we're allies, homie. For now, I mean, right now we're allies, but later on... It's a different story later on. So this is Korea right here. The Soviet Union has that completely taken over. Japan should... I think... I forget how much... Wait, let's look at the... Uh, how close Japan is to dying here. They're 34% towards capitulation. So, we're probably, we're probably going to have to take over, like, all of the Japanese homeland. I think we, well, Tokyo is worth 50 point. Holy shit. God damn. That's a lot of points. Nagoya, Nagoya, N Nagoya, I'm not entirely sure, is worth 25. Kanazawa. It's worth 15. Everything else is worth 10, I think. 10, 15. Okay. So we got some research. Let's continue to research some uh, more boats. Let's um, let's get a battleship now. Well, now we can begin producing destroyers. Yay! Yay! We have a navy. You can have military access, you can come through, it's okay. Okay. Alright. Fighter sweeps. Wait, pause this shit real quick, homie. Fighter sweeps, now we got, uh, let's just keep doing the air doctrine up. This is bringing in a lot of oil now. I forgot I did this. Got the whole, all the synthetic oil refineries and shit. Let's actually get more of them. Put one right there. And then let's get some more. Let's get 10 military factories right here in Aber, Aber Schlesien. Schlesien. Fucking Aber something. All pronunciations. Oh man, I should probably start trying to make countries communist or something. Like, start trying to influence. Oh, occupations apparently is decreasing my political power for some reason. That makes a whole lot of sense. Okay. Damn. Oh, they took it back. What the hell, man? What the what the hell, man? Take it over. Wait, Tokyo. Oh shit. No, Tokyo wasn't taken yet. What the fuck are you doing? Netherlands. No, right here. You attack this part. This is the part you want to attack, not this part. Oh, there's some factories in there. Fuck those factories. You attack Tokyo. That's the point, bro. That's the point of trying to, uh, you know, take Japan over. Huh. People's Republic of China. God damn. So where are the soldiers at so far? So, they're right here. And they'll be there in like a thousand days. The Russians begin to advance on the, uh, oh man, what is this island called? Shikaku. There it is. <laughs> it tells me right here. How about that? Kyushu. Is that, is that, I don't think that's what the island is actually. Is that what it's called? Is that the actual name? I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, but I might be wrong. Dude, don't, don't come to me with fucking, don't ask me questions about pronunciations, the name of anything, because I'm fucking clueless. Absolutely clueless when it comes to this kind of stuff. Doesn't mean I'm ignorant, you I mean, I, I obviously understand that there's differences in culture and shit, but hey, sometimes I just don't understand it. Ain't no problem in that. Secret weapons. We're gonna get jets. That's our main goal right now, to get some fucking jets. Put some jet fighters in the sky. Dropping some Japanese zeros. <laughs> Heavy tank, nice. We could get super heavy tanks eventually. I think I'm just going to go for modern tanks, to be honest with you. Let's get advanced artillery to finish that out. Siamese Empire has capitulated. Oh, shit. 
Let's see, Chen Kai-shek has announced that the cowardly Siamese nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Chinese forces throughout the country. The Siamese government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and China is now in control of their home area. Though the war against elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of the Chinese United Front. That's some great news. That means now... Well, that really doesn't mean a whole lot. It means the Siamese Empire wasn't all that powerful in the first place. It wasn't that much of a threat. The only real threat now is Japan, and they're kind of getting, like, all kinds of messed up. I don't even think I need to pull my soldiers over there, to be honest with you. <laughs> I just don't want the allies to gain everything. Now we can sit back and watch as the Japanese homeland gets invaded by like a bajillion forces. Honestly, right fucking, they just take, just, just take Tokyo. It's right there. It's not that fucking hard. See how Tokyo is attacking you right now and you're winning? Think how you would attack Tokyo. See what I'm saying? Pull these troops in here. And then here, and then here, and then attack Tokyo. Am I the only one that's like fucking... Oh my god. What a disaster. It's not a complete disaster, at least we're winning. The United States declared war on Japan. Great. You're kind of late to the party, USA. The United States joined the Allies. Fantastic. Alright, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Philippines joined the Allies, nice. Great. Whoop de do. <laughs> Alright, support battalions. Let's get some maintenance companies in there. I need to get my support battalions up anyway. And then let's pause this real quick so we can change our production. Over here. Okay, so this is this is for reinforcement. Now we can make mechanized equipment, and we'll start making that eventually. And then we'll start making mechanized infantry. And those are some really powerful dudes. I think they're I think they're good against other infantry. Like they're like motorized, except they're good against. I think they have an advantage because they're mechanized and they have like guns on their fucking trucks and shit, armored cars and all that shit. At least that's what I think. I don't know. There better be some fucking soldiers in that city. There fucking better be. Because if there isn't, you gotta be shitting me, pile. Chinese United Front. Really? Let me see. Oh yeah, here's the, here's the factions, if, you, if you've never seen it before. Yep. Get the Allies and the Comintern and the Chinese United Front. And a tiny piece of the Axis right here. <laughs> Somehow Japan's still able to hold on. That's quite a miraculous, uh... It's pretty crazy, actually. They, they have to be close to dying, though, dude. There's, not, there's no way. It's only 71% towards it, and they need 35%. And how much is Tokyo? 50? Yeah, they're... If they take Tokyo, it's over. Come on. Come on, the Netherlands. You can do it. It's the final fucking final countdown. Just get her done, man. You got it. And put some more soldiers. Like, take these cavalry and stick them over here. God, am I fucking... I'm talking to myself, first of all. So, obviously, they're not going to hear me. My soldiers are almost there. I'm feeling like I should probably just I'll just leave the infantry out of it there you guys can go ahead and go back there the motorized infantry are a lot faster than you are so they're gonna be the ones that travel if Tokyo isn't defeated yeah look at this are you fucking serious why uh, this is why we can't have nice things. 
I think that's like the last city, isn't it? Is this the only French territory in Japan right now? Nice. They had to have a little piece, didn't they? All right. Free civilian factories. Let's let's create some more military factories. I don't fucking know. Just keep making shit. Atomic research. Hold on, everybody pause. Let's go back here. Let's get some more oil. And then let's make some more military factories. Let's encompass all of Hungary and then make some civilian factories here. There. And then... Make a couple land forts. All across this border here because we ain't even fucking around. We ain't even fucking around anymore. Okay, hold on a second. Hold your hold your horses. This. Let's get this. Secret weapons. Let's research rocket effort. We want to get jets. That's our. I was being serious about the jets. I, mean, I am gonna get jets. I'm gonna get some of that fucking cold hard jets, man. You know what I'm saying? Them jets. <laughs> oh shit. Now you have Tokyo surrounded, and you still and you're still not taking it. What the hell? See, Nagasaki's almost done, and it's because uh, because the fucking you know looks like the British are attacking it. They know what they're they know what they're doing. The British know what they're fucking doing when it comes to comes to fighting the Japanese. Apparently, because they're the only ones that are attacking. Everybody else is just sitting around doing nothing. Well, there you go. Well, I, I forgot. Well, we got the Netherlands and was it Australia. This is Belgium. What the hell? It's because the British aren't there. That's why. Uh, or the Americans. One of the two. Okay, our, our troops should be getting close. God damn. It took you long enough. Fuck's sake. Republican Spain. I don't think this is Republican Spain, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to say that right now. If you attack right here, I think that should be a victory. These two are organized. In no, what the fuck? Where are you going, homie? Homie? Where the fuck are you going? This is why the, <laughs> this is why the AI never wins wars. Oh, the worst. The fucking worst at waging war. Reduction. Let's make some battleships. And after that, we're going to make some submarines. Okay, our troops should be getting there now. Yep, let's wait for the rest of them. Is that it? Why is this one just fucking lagging behind? What are you doing, dude? Hold on, events. United States stands against fascism. What? What the fuck is he talking about? The United States stands against fascism. As the land of the free, the United States considers itself the natural enemy of fascism in all its forms across the world. With the aggression of the German regime, they are at the present the greatest enemy of a world built on liberal principles the United States adhere to. With this in mind, the, in the approval of the American Congress, Franklin Delano Roosevelt has issued an, a warning to the German Reich. Unless the German Reich capitulates and reverses political course, the United States will bring all their industrial and military might against them. We will not allow the German Reich to divert the progress of history. The German Reich will fall. It already fucking fell. FDR, you're a little bit late. I don't know what you're talking about, but it's kind of occupied right now. The German problem has ended, dude. It's over, man. <laughs> World War II in Europe has ended. We literally just have Japan to deal with. That's the only thing we have to do right now is defeat Japan. That's the fucking only thing is take Tokyo now. If we can't take Tokyo, I'm going to be a little upset. Just saying. It's going to be a little, just a little upset. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. There you go. Go here. Oh, fucking course. 
Hey, uh. Homie. Yo, Netherlands, can I? Hey, military access. Thanks, man. Now we should be able to go here. <clears throat> and after we go there, we're going to organize. And then we're going to defeat Tokyo. You know what? No. I fucking hope they don't defeat Tokyo before we get there. Come on. <laughs> I just want to fight a little bit. Don't make this... Don't make this a motherfucker. <laughs> Japan has capitulated. That means that should be the last enemy, correct? That's... Yeah, that's it. That's the last of them. Let's see here real quick. Yep. That should be the... Every nation on here has been taken. At least I believe, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, hold on. Insufficient resources, no chromium, I don't care. Let's get this last one here. Decisive battle, sure, why not? Now what's to come? Oh, here comes the peace conference. Okay, so let's let's do something here. I vow to take I vow to that I uh, take all of Germany. <laughs> Here, let's start taking. Let's take this first. I can't see state lines. Okay, there we go. Well, the state lines are if I click on it and it turns blue, that's the end of it, okay. <laughs> so that should be it. Right, I might actually take that. And then this. Okay. Go ahead and take that. <laughs> just take everything might as well dude my god I got a lot of points oh I can't fuck well, can I at least connect these two territories like come on man All right, and then shit. Okay. Apparently, I can't take Mecklenburg. But that's okay. Some fucking reason I can't take Mecklenburg. That makes me a little bit upset. I'm a little upset. I just want to take these two provinces, and we'll be good. We'll be golden. And then let's let's see if we can't take something else. Oh, that's right, this area right here. I don't want anything else, that's the thing. Is there anything else I can take like that would be useful to me? Any part of Japan that would be useful? Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to infringe on the Japanese. Gotta do something to the German Reich, Italy, Japan, Bulgaria. Take all states. Yeah, I wish, dude. That'd be cool. Take everything down here. And that should be that should be pretty much the extent of which I'm willing to uh. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's kind of which I'm willing to expand here. 
that's really all I need. Most of the military factors Germany had was in was in this state anyway, so I'm not really losing a whole lot when I allow the rest of this to be a part of the German. I guess the Republic of would that be the Republic of Germany then? Can I like make Germany a, a socialist state? Okay. Okay, let's hold on. Let's think about this here. What else? What else can we possibly get? Honestly, thinking about taking a little bit down here. You know what? I think we're good. I think what we got is nice. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. This is fine right here. Anything down here I can take? Nope. I think we're good. Done there. Everybody else do your thing. Peace conference is over. Calculating the effects. Holy shit. What an asshole, Soviet Union. What an asshole, honestly. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Socialist Republic of Germany, that's nice. Okay. Now let's just re... Let's get rid of this. Because we don't want to help the fucking... Fuck the Soviet Union. That and then re-establish... Oh, whoops. Where we're protecting here. There we go. There we go. Take a look at that. Research slot available. Fuck, I don't even think it matters anymore. Let's get it anyway. Let's finish out the uh, artillery. No divisions in basic training. Do I need to make divisions in basic training anymore? Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Probably gonna need to join the Allies. Fuck, I fucking knew they were going to become... I was going to take uh, fucking Sicily down here. Is that... Is that the right name? I don't know. I don't think it is. It might be. Anyway, I was going to take this little island down here. But, eh, I said... They might be socialist. Nope, they're completely fucking... Why didn't I expect that? Because the Allies had control. Anyway, the 12th Olympic Games were recently held in Tokyo, Japan. In light of rising international tensions, many feared the games would be canceled. But this has not. This has proven not to be the case. Tokyo, Tokyo was the first non-Western city to, to host the Olympics, and a special purpose-built ME261 long-range aircraft carried the Olympic flame there from Germany without refueling. Holy shit! That's pretty cool, actually. Japanese athletes did well, and their 14 gold medals earned them a third place in the medal count after Germany and the United States. The games are concluded, and so is World War II. <sighs> What's happening? Somebody die? Nope, just froze for a second. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that seems to be... Seems to be it. That is the end of the war. World War II has ended. It seems like... Oh, I thought for a second there that fucking... That uh, we declared war on somebody. I was like, oh man, not another war. Cancel non-aggression pact. Why the fuck would you do that? Okay, fuck you then. Anyway, that is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we gained, you know, what we wanted to in Germany. We gained the Prussian area, a little bit of East Germany, and we gained East Prussia as well. 
Soviet Union apparently took everything else over and then left the bits and pieces that are Germany up to be uh, controlled by a socialist government. So I don't know why the Soviet Union took over pieces of Germany. They shouldn't have. They should just let it become a be a part of the common turn because it kind of looks all funky now. But anyway, uh, there's going to be more episodes. Obviously, we still have some conquests to do down here in China because I'm pretty sure the People's Republic of China is going to declare war on the Kuomintang. Yeah, they're going to declare war down here, I'm pretty sure. And then we're going to have to help them out, help the Chinese win their revolution. And then you have the People's Democratic Republic. Wait, is it the Democratic Republic? Right? It's a socialist, right? Why does it have the Democratic flag? What the fuck? Yeah, this is communist. Shouldn't it have, like, the North Korean flag? That's weird. Okay, and then, anyway. Well, that's about it. Fuck, what the hell, Soviet Union? Dude, stop. Honestly. Okay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace.